Okay, good morning and uh, have our class with uh, Python. So in the previous class, in the previous session, we have completed uh, the unit number two. Unit number two has completed in the previous session. And uh, text files and the text methods, what are the different, different kinds of methods which are uh, useful for uh, text files, everything has been completed. So you will be see all these methods here. So open, close, and uh, all these methods have been taken into consideration here. So these are the different different kinds of methods which are uh, being used for uh, operation, operating on uh, uh, files, text files. We have completed all these things. And today we'd like to enter, we'd like to enter uh, a new, new kind of uh, unit that unit is lists and dictionaries unit number three topic number one will be lists and dictionaries what is a list and what is a dictionary and what is a tuple what is a set of course these three four different types of uh, data structures are available fundamental data structures are available first one is list second one is dictionary third one is uh, the set and fourth one is the tuple okay we would like to discuss each and every point uh, i have gone through the complete syllabus of you but i could not get any uh, any information regarding the tuples and the uh, what do you call the sets even then i'd like to discuss tuples and the, uh, uh, the, 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 the sets also to you uh, by after completion of dictionaries and lists Okay, however, we would like to start unit number three at this moment. So you could get uh, complete notes by uh, Saturday or Sunday of this week. Okay, so you could get uh, complete notes for unit number one and unit, uh, unit number two by Saturday or Sunday of this week. Okay, so however, we would like to continue. Let's get started without any uh, deviation. We'd like to let's get started here. So a list. A list is a sequence of data values, which could be, which could be, so any type, okay? As like as array, set, C or C++, it's also a sequence of values or a sequence of elements, which are, which are the, of any type. Type might be anything, but uh, a first character, I mean, uh, first uh, uh, item of that particular list will be a character in the sense rest of them also be characters first item will be a float in the sense rest of items could also be float but uh, it could be take uh, any kind of data item so based on the as far as uh, uh, python point of view we'd like to consider based on the assignment of the values within any variable or list or dictionary it could be always uh, identify the data type by Python virtual vision that is PVM. Okay, so followed by what is the logical structure? What are the logical structure of this particular list? Will be seems as like as the string here. String also be taken the same kind of logical structure. Already we have seen the string here. String will be if you take any particular string which could be stored in our uh, memory. So for example. A Newton. Newton will be the some x will be equal to Newton. If, it, if you are supposed to store this particular Newton into your memo, memory, so it could be stored something like this. So here it is Newton, N E W T O N, something like this. It could be stored here, and uh, it could have uh, it could have its its own uh, uh, index values. That is, it is zero, it is one, it is two, it is three, and so on and so forth. Number of elements will be five elements are there. And obviously, it could be get a negative value cell, so negative one, negative two, and so on and so forth, the negative six. So negative six, something like this, everything will be gets available. In the similar fashion, list also be same. There is no difference in terms of list. As far as a string, let me open the IDLE. Uh, as far as a string, S will be equal to so N E W T O N. Let me save this particular value. So here it could be seen as a single string here. And if you take the type, the type of S will be type of S will be equal to string here. 
and if you replace the same kind of issue in terms of list so that could be organized in another way but the structure will be stories structure will be as like a string here that is what you need to consider here and every every element every item in the listed list will be having some ordered by position position will be get started with the next point will also be the same position position will be always get started with the zero and the last position will be length of the particular list minus one length of that particular list minus one for example 10 elements are there with you so index value could be get started with zero and ends with the nine 10 elements in the sense 10 minus one that is nine okay in this uh, specific point we'd like to consider and each and every index or each and every position will be identified with that index value that index value is unique value okay one index cannot be equal to some other <coughs> One index cannot be equal to some other here, so that the value of that particular index is a unique value. And this unique value could be always ordered in, in its position. Ordered in the sense could be get started with zero and followed by one, followed by two, followed by three, and so on and so forth, up to length of that particular list of elements minus one. Okay? <coughs> length of that particular number of elements minus one. So this is the way which could be able to so store and identify the elements of uh, each and every element of the list here. Okay, and uh, let us uh, uh, take uh, some examples here. How list could be? A list could be always uh, taken into consideration by opening this one here. Let me say some x will be equal to so within closed and the open and closed braces. You have to write anything that will be called as a list here so one comma two comma three comma four will be called as a list and let us take a value of x value of x will be equal to a list here take the type of the particular x here type of this particular x will be equal to list here you please observe the type of for x here okay and here total number of elements are four so therefore list of i mean x of four so x of zero will be one. So x of one will be equal to two. X of two will be equal to three. X of three will be equal to four. And if you go ahead with x of five, it is out of range. Okay, index is out of range. List index value is out of range. That is the error you could get. Okay, that is what you need to understand. So these are the points to be remembered while uh, talking something about uh, list here. Okay, and as I said just before, as I show you just before, showed you just before, a list will be written of a sequence of data items, so, so separated by commas. Every list item will be separated by a comma. And uh, list item uh, will be always, uh, a list item will be always uh, starts with the brackets, so square brackets, something like this. Square brackets will be taken into consideration so that. Uh, that will be called as uh, that will be called as a list here, and uh, this is a list of integers, and this is list of strings, and this is empty list. This could be considered as a empty list, and uh, this could be considered as a list of lists. List of lists. Let me give you some examples here. Already I have shown some examples to you that uh, this is a linear list, so having. So four different types of elements and each and every element will be identified with an index of zero. And let me write a list of lists here. List of lists will be same in such a way. So let me take this one here at this moment. So some B will be equal to, otherwise A will be equal to, so open and again open brace, one comma two, followed by comma, so three comma four, so and close one more brace. This is list of list. Obviously, in our C or C++, you may be you may be call it as a two-dimensional array. You may be call it as a two-dimensional array. Here it is a list of lists. That is the difference between uh, uh, other programming language and Python here. So here, if you want to identify identify the element of one and the element of two here, so look at this. Uh, here we are having two different types of sublists are available here. This is first row. 
and this is the second row here so that you could identify something like this a of zero comma again zero a of zero zero will be equal to one so a of zero comma one i mean zero one will be equal to two similarly a of so zero comma for example if you take two it will be out of the boundary nothing is there a of three could not be there because you don't have any three elements in first list list of this in first list you don't have any three elements so third element is not there with you so therefore it could be list out of range then if you want to identify second list elements in the sense this is a zeroth list and this is a second list second list in the sense so list identity element uh, index value of 1 so let me take into consideration a of 1 comma 0 will be gives you 3 so a of 1 uh, 1 will be gives you that is 4 if you go ahead furthermore so a of 1 comma 2 it will be gives you list of uh, out of range because third element is not available within the second list here okay in this way you can you can identify so the values of a particular list in list of lists okay so you please remember this concept from c or c plus plus or java as a two dimensional array okay something like that you have to remember then it is very easy to identify and remember here okay so also some more very important information to be taken into consideration this kind of uh, this kind of interpretation cannot be there in other languages only it could be available with python that is if any uh, literal is being entered into list so before enter into that particular list python interpreter will be evaluates that whether it is a constant value or it is an expression if it is a constant value yes directly it could be assigns if it is an expression then it will be evaluate the expression and then place the place the value over there or, or the so list here okay let me let me give you one example then you could understand very easily okay first of all so as far as uh, c or c plus plus or kind of programming languages you have to declare one particular uh, so integer array something like this yeah for some 100 could be declared like this and will be assigned some value something like this for example 1 comma 2 comma and so on and so forth up to some 90 you will be enter something like this instead of entering these kind of constant values if you put any if you put something like this some x comma x into 2 comma x into 2 comma something like this will be placed by you in c or c plus plus it will gives you error it is not accepted okay which is not accepted here but in python these kind of things also be accepted to create any list let me show you let me show you in terms of uh, taking one example here okay uh, let me let me take uh, some x will be equal to 2 for example yes so a value of x equal to 2 here now i'd like to prepare one particular list here so import import map okay so within the list some y will be equal to so within the list x comma so math dot sqrt of x let me take something like this okay let me take the value of y so actually value of x will be equal to 2 and uh, 2 value has been placed as it is there is no uh, problem here and uh, yes, the square root value of x will be seems like this look at this look at this so before going to create any kind of list python will be evaluates that whether it is a constant value or not if it is a constant value there is no problem so directly that could be assigns and can be placed into the list if it is not a constant value if it is a variable something like this x or math dot so this particular kind of expression something like this it will be evaluates the value so value of x will be equal to 2 2 has been placed here and math dot sqrt of value will be placed here something like this obviously it could be evaluates and can be placed into the placed into the list here so therefore in this way so it is going to be placed so 
So the, it could be possible. It could be possible through Python, but it is not possible in any other languages. Okay, you please remember this. Then followed by when uh, an element is a number of strings, that uh, literal is include a resulting list. What does it mean? So uh, uh, element will be considered as a string here, so or number here. That literal can be included in the resulting list. So let me show you how uh, this could be considered here. Here in the sense, let me consider some y will be uh, some z will be equal to z z will be equal to so list one comma two comma three comma four and some a will be equal to so z of some three <coughs> z of some three. Okay, let us consider a. It could be as a something like this. This is the meaning of uh, the statement. This is the meaning of this particular statement here. Okay. So then followed by, then uh, followed by. So let us consider uh, when the element is a variable or any expression, its value could be included in the list here. How this could be taken into consideration here in the sense. So I have showed just before something like this something like this okay if it is a value or if it is a constant if it is constant value directly assigns to the list if it is not at all a constant value if it is a variable and you have to impose some kind of operations yes it could be it could also be it could also be included something like this okay in this way you could uh, specify what there and then i wanted to prepare a particular list by using range function, that is a range function, we have already used this particular range function in for loops. While discussing for loops, we have used this one. And wanted to prepare one particular list by using range, you could also use a list. LIST is a function. So you could also use this particular function. How this could be? Let me let me specify something like this here. Okay, let me specify something like this. Let me adjust this one for a while, but then uh, it could be displayed to you in your uh, middle of uh, your screen. Okay, however, so for example, some uh, so first list will be equal to, so let me say one comma two comma three comma four comma five. This is your first list. Second list will be prepared by using range and list functions. List of, so a range of you know, uh, range value is upper bound and lower bound. So one comma six, always it could be taken minus one, six minus one, that is five, which could be gives you, which could be gives you the same, the value of uh, the, the first list only. So let me so display the values of first and uh, second also, both are same. Okay, both are same and it could be displayed in the, in the similar fashion here. So if you want to, if you want to specify, so the range element or the range uh, function method, uh, using range method, if you want to prepare any kind of list, you must be take the help of this particular method, LIST. So look at this. So type of uh, first, type of uh, first, it is a list. Type of uh, second, it's also a list. Both are lists. Okay, it is list and it is also a list here. You need to identify in such a way. So, wanted to prepare any kind of list by using range, you must be take the assistance of a range function followed by list function. List followed by range of upper bound and a lower bound, something like that. Okay, and length will be gives you number of items in the list. Okay, length of, for example, if you consider first and second, two different types of things are there with us. That is uh, len of uh, FIRST. How many number of elements are there here? Totally five elements are there. So length of this particular first list will be five. For example, if you consider uh, word will be equal to, otherwise color. Color will be equal to, let me consider, let me prepare one particular list here. One specific list here, for example, so blue green and then uh, white uh, yellow magenta 
CL, something like this. Something like this. If you uh, display the values of uh, that particular color, these are the these are the list of colors which you have for mention here. Now, the length of color. So how many number of elements are there here? Element one, element two, element three, element four, element five, and element six. Totally here, six elements are available. So LEN of CO, LO, R will be displaced you six. It doesn't matter how many number of characters in each and every uh, color or each and every sub uh, uh, string here. That doesn't matter. How many number of different elements are available within uh, that particular uh, list will be listed out here. Whether it is integers or float values or string values or character values, it doesn't matter how many number of character, sorry, how many number of elements are there within the list will be displayed here as far as uh, this particular point of view. Okay, so that is the point which we have to consider here. So length will be always gives you number of items or number of elements within the list. Okay, then followed by slicing can also be possible. We, would, we have already some information regarding the slicing in the strings. As like as uh, the same, here also we have to take the slice operation. Let us uh, take the slice operation here. So slicing will be, for example, for example, some, some P will be equal to, otherwise E L E M E N T S elements will be equal to, let me say list of, range of one comma for example some 11 okay 11 so elements could be so one two three four five six and on, so on so forth to 10. i'd like to slice <clears throat> right away from second position to some four sixth position elements of uh, two colon six okay it could be displayed and I'd like to display some uh, uh, third position to end of the end of the list. So slicing in the sense, so sub elements of that particular list here. So elements of uh, third position to end of the list. End of the list in the sense you have to, you are not supposed to mention the upper board value. If you are uh, leave the upper board value, obviously it could be display end of the elements. Third position is four, five, six, seven, and so on up to ten. Okay. I'd like to display in reverse order, so something like this, elements of minus one to minus four, for example. Minus one to minus four in the sense, 10 will be minus one, this is minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, and so on. So minus one to minus four in the sense, how many number of elements are going to be uh, displayed here? Mm. Oh, I have given, uh, Elements of minus four or two minus one. This is the way we have to give. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, negative values always uh, so lower value to uh, higher value. Lower value is minus one is minus four is lower value. Minus one is higher value. So that is what you need to remember here. Okay. In this way, you can operate uh, the slicing like anything as far as uh, the strings are being taken into consideration in the previous classes. Okay. As like a string, you can you can uh, so slice like anything. So for example, for example, it could be display in this particular fashion. Same fashion will be continued. Okay. In in in, in strings, we have organized in the same position and same pattern. Same thing will be taken into consideration here also, and you could perform the same kind of operation. Okay. So. Okay, in this way, you can you can uh, slice the list of elements also, something like this, okay. So in this way, you can perform the slicing. Then followed by, you could operate concatenation and you could operate, so equality. These two also be taken into consideration. Let me uh, show how the concatenation could be done here, how the concatenation will be done here. For example, there is a list with me so list might be some e will be equal to um, list of one comma two comma three 
these are the list of elements which are available with me and now i'd like to operate the concatenation so concatenation in the sense it is uh, only useful to display the elements not for uh, storing the elements uh, on on uh, existent list here so that is why so e plus e plus if you are supposed to perform something like this it is going to display there is no modification in actual e so 4 comma 5 for example if you take something like this it could be concatenated if you go ahead and display actual e it does have only uh, 2 3 1 2 3 only you don't have uh, 4 5 which is being included here okay so if you want to include 4 5 into this particular e yes we will see that we will see that okay so let us consider so one more released that is x will be equal to so 1 comma 2 whether uh, e and x are equal or not okay x is equal to e false because e does have uh, 1 2 3 and x does have 1 2 otherwise e is equal to x it also gives you false okay so something like this otherwise uh, e equal to so x plus so 3 now it is 3 now it is true because e does have 1 2 3 and x on concatenation of 3 so both are equal so it is uh, getting true so like this you can operate uh, so you can operate uh, the concatenation operation over list and the equality operation over list equality will be always gives you whether it is true or false if both will be gets equal can be gives you true both will be gets uh, not equal then it could be gives you false very important point we will come across here very very important point you have to come across here a list is a mutable so far the story will be depends on only one particular point that is immutable immutable for example let me give you immutability first then we'll move to mutable so let me consider a will be equal to 10 and b will be equal to 20 for example so id of a id of a will be oh sorry id i not id id of a will be equal to this one id of b will be equal to this one here okay there are two different types of ids are there here let me reassign the value of a to, to 20 here so a will be equal to 20 if you take this particular value and this is going to identify so the value of a the actual value where exactly it has been stored the location where exactly a has been stored before it does f10 so this is the location this location value cannot be changed you are not supposed to change this particular location value you just left this particular location for a while and the python interpreter will be our, our python virtual machine view will be look forward that whether any location does have the 20 if any other location does have 20 yes it could be taken and identified otherwise it could be create a new object and could be stored 20 here so once you have to create one value that value cannot be changed that value cannot be uh, over returned that value cannot be changed so cannot be changed property is called as immutable immutable so let us take the id of uh, a here right now id of a will be so look at this id of b and id of a will be same at this moment because id of the value of b is 20 right now the value of a also equal to 20 so that both will be identified the same location why it could be same location so the values where exactly the object location values will be 20 it is not supposed to be changed anymore it is not supposed to be changed anymore so therefore it is not possible to change so therefore it is uh, immutable okay whereas lists are mutable lists are mutable already some values are there with you you can change the value you can uh, uh, I mean uh, append some kind of values or you can uh, concatenate some values and you can perform all other kind of operations here. So look at this. So here already we have taken uh, E. What is the value? What are the values of E here? The list E here. E will be having 1, 2, 3, 4. Sorry, 1, 2, 3. Let us uh, 
concatenate of four, five, six to this particular e like this. E will be equal to e plus so four comma five comma six. Okay. Yes, it could be gets added. It could be gets added here. So let me display e here. If it is not uh, mutable, if it is immutable, it is not possible. If it is immutable, it is not possible. Concatenation and reassign the values cannot be possible here. So therefore, your list is uh, mutable. You can change the value. For example, e of one, e of uh, zero will be one. E of uh, one will be equal to two. I'd like to change the value of e of two to, I mean, uh, the value of uh, e of one to, uh, e of one value, actual value is two. I'd like to change uh, two to 20. So therefore, e of uh, two, sorry, one will be equal to some, let me say 100. Okay, now you can take the list. You can see the value has been changed. Previously it is two. So now it is uh, 100. So because of mutability, because of this particular property mutability, yes, you can uh, change the values on that particular list here. So hence, you can operate, uh, so two lists, two lists are being concatenated and uh, you can perform some kind of operation over there. Okay. And then you can also operate a membership function that is a membership operation that is in whether, uh, let me say 100, 100 in E, yes, it is true. 100 element, 100 is available with C. Two in C, so two in E is a list, no, two doesn't exist. Okay, something like this, you can use, so in operator also on that particular uh, thing here, okay. Then if you want to display the contents of, so here, wanted to display E, something like this, it could be possible. If you want to display the contents of E, I mean uh, a list, so you could also perform the same operation with uh, uh, with uh, so a particular thing here. Let me let me show you how this could be. So some, some list, um, for example, um, n equal to int of uh, input of center a range you can take one particular range then uh, some x will be equal to list of r a n g e of one comma that particular range is n here n is my range has been created now for so I in the list X, okay, print, what is the list here? The list will be, so X of I comma END is equal to, so one space, one or two spaces, however you can take, okay, like this. You can take this particular program and you can print out the specification. Let me save this particular program with a, with a name. List one dot py. Okay, let me run this particular program for a while. So yes, enter range will be ten. Uh, out of list range. Okay. So the problem is the problem is here. The problem is here. So i value could be always taken l e n of uh, x minus one. Okay, L E N of X minus one. That is the problem here, because uh, always the list will be get started with zero and end we ends with the length of uh, that particular list minus one. So this is the problem here. So let me run this particular thing for a while. That is a ten here. Uh, int object is not iterable. What is this? Wait for a while. Okay, let us do one thing here. Do one thing here. 
So uh, I will be equal to zero instead of far. We would like to perform with while while uh, so I less than. Uh, len of x, length of x, then I'd like to print out this particular thing. After printing, i plus equal to 1. We would like to print something like this. I'll show you how the for loop will be gets executed. I'll show you for a while. Just wait for a while. Let me save this one and run this one here again. So 10, so it could be produced. Okay, so it could be produced to length minus 1. Mm, less than or equal to okay. less than or equal to so i'll produce this one here right now so out of range sorry so some 10 totally range of 1 to 10 will be 1 to 9 only it could be produced something like this when uh, you'd like to take something like this not like this don't don't go for this particular thing so uh let's make it as uh, mm, X will be equal to X will be equal to one comma two comma three comma four comma five, uh, and then and so on and so forth. These are the list of elements which are available with me. Now I'd like to follow uh, follow with uh, so for loop for i in X. Okay, print the values of i. Okay, print the values of x of i. Okay, run, run this particular thing at this moment. List of top range. Mm. Mm. Otherwise, it's also not been working here. So let us take this particular thing here. This particular thing here. Okay, something like this. So element in uh, I in uh, this one and uh, print I. Print I. Now this is another way, another way to perform. Okay, another way to perform. In this way also. So index value cannot be taken by for loop. However, uh, it could be it could be taken in such a way here. So in this way, you can you can perform the operation here by using for loop. Okay. So something like this, it could be done here. Now, some kind of operations. The summary of operations here. Summary of operations will be seen like this. So where L will be the list here, you please uh, you please decode L as a list here. L of uh, an integer expression could be gives you the element where exactly the position. L of uh, start to end. So right away from one particular uh, value to another value, which could be gives you so the slice of the sub list, slice of the list. L plus L. So let me say two lists are being taken into consideration. So they are supposed to be concatenated. And the print L, so it could be print out the list of elements here. So length of L, it could be returns. So uh, length of how many number of lists of uh, uh, elements of that particular list will be displayed. And uh, list of range of uh, so upper bound, you could consider this one also. It could be generated upper bound zero to upper bound minus one. And you could also perform these all these atomic uh, logical operators, something like this. If it will be compare each other. If it is uh, really true, could be displayed true. Otherwise, it is false. And you can you can uh, dis display by using for loop also. And if you take any value in so called list, if it is existed, it will be written true. Otherwise, it is written false. Okay. So in this way, you can you can uh, you can perform the operation here. You can perform the operation something like this and tomorrow we will discuss regarding to uh, mutability how list will be gets mutable what are the different different aspects of mutabilities and how the list will be organized in terms of mutable we will discuss regarding to everything by tomorrow okay We'll meet by tomorrow in the next session.